Hey guys, I got the Mac Daddy right here. Flambeau's 507 Heritage Tackle Backpack. Unboxing today, I didn't realize. I thought it was just, you know, Plano from Walmart, something like that. No. This, this guy here has been my friend for a long time. Uh, and I, I was laughing when uh, I went and checked, hey, which, which brand is that? Uh, probably going to give it to my son. And it's a Flambeau. Uh, I got this at least 10 years ago. It is great to sit down on. It just sucks to carry this thing. Uh, I think the days of the hard tackle box is over. Um, the majority of people are going for soft bags they can carry. Um, I have a little Berkley's that I use for pan fishing. Carries three. I have a fourth one I shove in once in a while um, if I don't have too many of my plastics bags. Uh, and it's kind of for walking around a lake, uh, bass fishing, pan fishing, you know, small stuff. So it carries what I basically need for that, but uh, the other day I was river fishing and realized it doesn't carry everything I need. There was several things in my big tackle box that I really needed. Uh, one thing in particular was a uh, line to put the fish on. I uh, started catching some nice large fish and I started thinking I really would like to keep a couple of these. And I caught my very first gar and uh, snagged him. It wasn't a true catch. They were just biting like crazy, but I could not get them to hook, and then I snagged one. It didn't catch him in the mouth. It snagged him in the side. Uh, right after he bit, I pulled and got him that way. But anyway, I was wanting to keep him because I've never ate gar. Uh, I didn't have my equipment with me. Um, the biggest part is carrying... This is huge, and it the, the pla I know it's plastic, but it by itself there's a good five pounds of just plastic with the tote, everything. Uh, and a backpack would be so handy to throw over my back. Uh, yes, I bought the Mac Daddy that is, it can carry a lot. I could probably weigh this down and have it 30 pounds without any problems. But I wanted to be able to have a situation if I, I could take everything with me, then take my little bag, throw that gear um, possibly into it. Uh, as time progresses, I may just try to duplicate and have uh, my little bag as my pan fishing bag, and then I take my backpack everywhere else I go. Uh, but anyway, without further ado, we're going to get this sucker out of here and uh, take a look at it. Um, my son's wanting me to get this over with so he can have this. He's excited. Um, he can carry this thing. I'm getting older. Uh, but... I will lose one thing, and I'm good. I've am i been looking for something to sit on. If you guys have recommendations, let me know. Something I can strap to my bag, just a little three-legged fisherman, fisherman's chair or something like that. Uh, it is nice to sit down. If you're you're going out to sit in an area, work an area, um, not boat fishing, I need a chair. This was my chair. This thing was great, but oh dear God, it just carrying trying to carry it up and down rocks while you're carrying your poles. It just gets to the point where you, you're you older, you work smarter, not harder. So, let's get into this bad boy. Now, I want to be kind of careful. I have, worst thing I could do, it, thinking it's a soft bag, so you could easily rip into it if it's not packaged very well. Uh, box actually says Evolution Fishing. It's something I would have to look up. Um, I don't know if, how that's correlated to the flambeau. I'm going to turn you guys down a little bit. Yeah, I'm glad I was careful. This doesn't cover the box or cover the bag. It should be at least the entire box length as you're cutting into it. So if I was actually using my knife, my pocket knife and this, I can adjust. It comes out, you know, about three-eighths of an inch, not even a full half inch. Um, if it wasn't for that, I probably would have cut the top of the bag and been torqued. Oh. This will be pretty darn nice. 
wrench down here. So I really like this one. Flambeau had a couple more I was looking at. Kind of the same idea. Instead of having your boxes coming out of here, they're out of the top. That's why I went with this one. And so that way this can sit. My boxes aren't reliant on weight because if I pull the bottom box out, obviously I'm just making noise. I'm having to shuffle, mess around with it. When I found this, I thought this was the way to go. Because um, you still, but you have all the multiple bags on the sides. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six total. Um, and, you know, I can put in some small uh, plastic tackle boxes. They go inside there. Some of my gear can go in here. Um, it's got webbing that I can also stick uh, some of my other tools and works in. I like that it's got clips on the side. Uh, nice aluminum clips that also keep this down on the top. And they just, they got a little hook. And same for the front. So that's quick. No, no plastic snaps uh, like a dog collar to break. This is the part I kind of liked because you're getting storage up here. I have to bring it back up a little bit. They're saddlebags. And they hang there. They are attached. I can have my stuff in here. And then guess what? Now this comes with three 507, Flambeau 507 uh plastic tackle boxes but you could they hold six so you gotta you do have to buy three more of your own i was going to get a couple deep ones so i'm probably just going to actually buy two deeps um i kind of have to see what my fishing gear looks like as i take my old one out and what i'm wanting and that was kind of nice they banded that so those are down the bottom so the nice part is um actually real quick i saw uh, I believe Flambeau actually makes it too. They actually have handles on the top. Uh, but it's nice. You could pull physically pull out which one you want uh, without the shuffling. When they're like this, they're just stacked on top of each other. You're making all sorts of noise. They're probably going to go, if you're on a hill or anything, they're going to go flying. Now, granted, on, on a hill, yeah, that might tip over or whatever. I'm going to, you know, that's something I have to work with. Uh, it does not have a solid bottom, but it is pretty tight. Uh, and we'll have to see, you know, as things progress, it wears in. Uh, it's very stiff. It's got some kind of rubber, plastic, cardboard uh, impregnated into it on the sides here. Just on the sides, not in the front and the back. Uh, so we'll see, you know, how, how this stands the test of time. I, I'm just super excited because... I mean, you get some nice pouches. These are netted on, so they breathe. Plus, you could see what's you could see within them without actually opening it up. And both these sides now, it's got these are open on the bottom. I mean, you could throw throw a light in that, throw your uh, pliers in there, have them for the ready. Yeah. And those could be handy for your, your smaller plastic boxes that you want. And these are the same over here. So just an incredible amount of storage. Uh, one part I liked is they have very nice padded straps. Throw it over your back. Uh, they have the chest connection. I know a lot of guys think that's goofy, but because uh, I've heard I've heard people, oh that's you know old, that's just goofy, you new people and stuff. It's kind of nice when you put your straps on, you snap that across your chest. It locks it in. You don't have to worry about the bag rotating off of you. Uh, oh, my God. This is going to be awesome. Uh, I'm totally excited to finally have something that uh, will just be so much better on my back uh, as we get older. I don't know what age groups I'm dealing with that, you know, may catch this, may see it, um, you know, get what works, what you can afford first. Uh, I watch another fishing guy and he's really big on, hey, it's like, 
you got to work with what you can afford to start with and then work your way up as things you know you can buy newer buy better uh, I've always bought really cheap rods and it's it's hurt me over the years I've had some good ones you know hey there's nothing like a Zebco 33 uh, but over time you know those you've got a few years on those to especially the new ones they, they're not all not as good as those older ones were but you know I'm trying to get some uh, better equipment show some people whatever uh, what kind of equipment they could be getting uh, this is brand new this year I believe it or the second year for it uh, I have not seen too much stuff on the the flambeau heritage uh, but when I first found it I was I was like wow it's like I was gonna get a backpack with uh, boxes down here and then when I found this one flambeau's other one has no uh, side pouches whatsoever and I can't stand that uh, I need lots of little storage compartments I like my stuff separated I'm kind of OCD with this is for this this is for fishing line you know weights go in here uh, whatever the case is you know I like to separate my things out all tools go in one bag whatever the case is and whatever however you want to do it uh, but anyway can't wait to get uh, this loaded up and uh, hey check out some of my other videos I've got the some videos on new fishing rods uh, I've got some reels and I'm gonna have some uh, some showing on how they seem to work and gonna go out in the backyard and throw a line out with lead on it and uh, you know kind of see how these are working out so if you like any of this stuff like and subscribe uh, as time goes on I'll be buying some more so guys have a good night thank you